we are on Glacier Express. Welcome aboard the iconic Glacier Express. We will be traveling the full length of this trail journey from St. Moritz in East Switzerland to Zermatt, the home of Matterhorn, aka the Toberon Mountain. We begin our trip nice and early in Celerina, a small village in southeastern Switzerland. Hello from Celerina. So yesterday we took the Berenia Express to get to St. Moritz and today we're going to be taking the Glacier Express to Zermatt. So we are just waiting here for our local train which will take us back to St. Moritz station for our Glacier Express. As we waited amidst this beautiful flurry of snow, we saw the first Glacier Express already making its way to Zermatt. Soon our ranger was here to take us back to St. Moritz. And say bye to Celerina. Ready for 9 hours on the Glacier Express? 10 minutes later, we arrived in St. Moritz with our train ready to board. Here's our train. Here is a quick look at our trip today. We're traveling along the blue line all the way to Zermatt. Here we have it, the engine for the Glacier Express. And look at this background. Amazing. Glacier Express runs on meter gauge tracks and some of it requires the use of a cockpit. The trains are operated by two separate rail companies, the Ratishi Bahn and the Matterhorn Gotthard Bahn. The total number of carriages on the train vary, but ours had three second-class compartments. Denied. Not sure what happened there, but a few minutes later, it led me inside to have a first look at this beautiful cabin. As we enter, we have this luggage storage and this panoramic windows all across the train and the seats with the fold out tables some complimentary wipes and information we took this trip in april 2022 and at that time the trains were running pretty empty it's actually called the world's slowest express because it takes eight hours to go from St. Moritz to Zermatt. I think it's only 400 kilometers away. So it's mainly for scenic purposes. If you want to take a faster train, there are other options available. Yay, just about to start. Our home for the next eight and a half hours. There's only 20 passengers today, so we got almost the whole coach to ourselves. As the train started to make its way out, it's time to check out the rest of the facilities. The bright red wagon is a souvenir car and it serves a variety of souvenirs and some meals the and drinks. Souvenir. This car also has a TV with some history about the train. Windows on the souvenir car are openable, but make sure you check before doing that to avoid getting into trouble. Walking past the souvenir car, we see the entrance to the first class section. On that side is first class. Yes, this train has the first class and an excellence class, which we couldn't justify paying for. Considering this is an 8 hour journey, without making this video too long, here are some of the highlights of this trip. Starting with the Landwasser Viaduct. This is the most iconic section of the Glacier Express. After the train passes the Filiso station, it goes through a long 216 meter tunnel before emerging directly into a viaduct that's 65 meters high. Built in 1902, this is really a marvel of railway engineering. 
and is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Section of the Railway. We took a short hike to here the day before and we definitely recommend doing it even if you're not travelling on the trains. Watching the viaduct from the ground, air and the train gave us three different perspectives of the landmark. An hour later, the train passes over the Rhine, the second largest river in Europe, as it heads towards the city of Coor. arriving in the core. It's the oldest city in Switzerland. Kur is also the end of the Ratishi Bahn section of the railway. From here the Matterhorn Gothard Bahn takes over with its cogwheel engine. Bye bye old engine. And this is our new engine. With our new engine all attached up, it's time to hit the tracks. After leaving Khor, we backtrack for a little while before heading through the beautiful Ryan Gorge. The next stop is Dissenters. We're now halfway through. Are we? Here we meet the oncoming Glacier Express and most of the crew swap over to go back to St. Martin's. In our opinion, the upcoming section is the best part of this train journey. This section from Descentis to Andaman to the Obalard Pass reaches a height of 2033 meters above sea level and the climb is simply spectacular. This part of the journey also requires the use of the cogwheel, the sound of which you can hear in the video. The train stops at Andermatt, where we get a chance to stretch our legs and take a closer look at the cogwheels. Just a seven minutes stop here, and look who is here. Are you on this train? At the moment, we just stopped at Andermatt. It's beautiful, and there's another train coming up. And yes, that's the train we're waiting for. Take all the time you want, train. You're happy you to wait. To close Sadly, the train was always going to arrive too soon, and slowly we wound our way back down the Rhone Valley through some pretty Swiss villages. The final compartment of the Glacier Express has a glass door through which you can experience the ever-changing scenery drift away. The next major station was Brick, where there is an interchange to connect to mainline trains to Zurich or Milan. The train stopped here for 5 minutes before heading towards Zermatt. The views through this valley were again pretty stunning. But by this time, we were just itching to get to Zermatt to get a sight of the Matterhorn. Eight 
hours 30 minutes after starting this morning, we finally pulled into cloudy Zermatt. Hello Zermatt. Where are you Matterhorn? It's time to say bye to this train. Goodbye Glacier Express. Unfortunately, the weather didn't play game, and we have to wait another day for our Matterhorn view. So here's how we experience the Glacier Express. Tickets for the Glacier Express can be booked online on their website, and the seat reservations open up three months in advance. We use the Swiss Pass, and with that, the ticket cost us 49 francs. Without the Swiss Pass, however, it could cost a whopping 200 francs. Like the Bernina Express, you can also do the whole journey on a Regio train for free with a Swiss Pass. And it is possible to do segments of it. But our recommendation is not to skip the Descentes to Andermatt section. Thank you so much for watching and join us back for another travel adventure.